Welcome to 8.2's Math Moment. Today in fifth grade, students looked at the metric system, but they used it with liquid volume today. So as a review, your students should know King Henry or King Hector doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. This is what they've been familiar with in class as a quick review of the metric system. We've got kilo, hecta, deca, our basic unit, which could be the meter, the liter, or the gram. Then we've got deci, centi, and milli. All right, so just looking at this is we're going to use this tool quite a bit to help us solve these problems. So let's look at example number one. It says 4.6 liters, and we need to convert that to milliliters. The first thing that we want to do is we want to take this 4.6 and we want to put it on our liter, which is going to be our basic unit. So I go ahead and write it right above my liters, above my basic unit. Now I'm going to go to milliliters which means I'm going to work my way this way. And what I have to do first is like to hop. So I go one, two, three. I know I'm going to be shifting. I'm going to be using multiplication. So my answer is going to be getting larger. So I'm going to shift one, two, three spots with my decimal for an answer of 4,600 milliliters. Now some students prefer when they're using this to shift over each one of them. So they might take the 4.6 and they might hop over 1, it becomes 46, they might hop over to the, hop over to the centa, which would become 460, and they might go to the milli, which would be the 4,600. Whichever way your student is familiar with, they like to show that their work is great, just make sure they're moving the appropriate direction and they're moving their decimal or their number to reflect that. Alright, let's look at example, our second part of example 1. I have 987 millimeters, so I'm going to go ahead and go to my millimeters. I'm going to write that number down. I need to go to centiliters, which is just shifting back one. So in this number, the first thing I need to think about, I'm going to be dividing. My answer is going to be getting smaller as I work with this number. So I need to be thinking that where my decimal is in this imaginary number. A lot of students need a, a second to think about that. They sometimes struggle with where is that imaginary decimal. We'll just have the student place the decimal at the very end of the number and think about that 987 is still the same as 987 with nothing following it. So when we go ahead and shift this to our centiliters, we're going to work our way back one, one spot. I'm going to move this decimal into my number one, which is one spot which is going to make it 98 and 7 tenths centiliters. All right. Looking at example two, students also encountered some word problems today. Let's look at this one, um, number two, and then we're going to need to some, do some conversions and do some actual math to solve this problem. So it says David's cup holds 310 milliliters. I'm going to go ahead and underline that. He refills the cup 10 times a day. How many liters of water has David drank? Okay, so like I said, this is a couple step problem. He refills it 10 times a day. We want to know how many liters he has. Well, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do my multiplication of my 310 times by 10 times a day. So I have 310 times 10. Now, a lot of students know this is a fast fact. If I take 31 times 1 is 31, add 1, 2 zeros. If your student doesn't know that trick, they can just go ahead and write this down traditionally and solve it and find the same answer of 3,100. Now, again, this is in milliliters. Now, we want to convert this to liters. So I'm going to go ahead and erase what I have up here from my previous problem. I'm going to go ahead and write milliliters here, my 3,100, and I need to go to my liters, which is right here. I'm going to go ahead and look. My answer is dividing, so I'm going to be working my decimal into my number. Again, here's my imaginary decimal, and I need to go one, two, three hops. So when I look at my number, one, two, three hops, my answer becomes three and one tenth liter. So I would write three and one tenth liter. That's how many uh, liters David drank in one day. If you have any questions about today's math lesson, make sure you see your math teacher.